You might not be able to tell, but this is a new space because in the past week we moved. So this is a vlog and I don't know how much I'm actually gonna get because I'm trying to document the fact that we're we're moving. Now, this is your first video that you've seen my face on. Hi, my name is Relly, and I make videos about the creative process and then just random challenges that I challenge myself to do, all that kind of stuff. But now I'm at a different stage in my life, my young life. We're moving, we're leaving this apartment, all the boxes. We got more to pack, obviously, but we're moving. And it's, it's one of those moments where like, I'm gonna miss this place, even though it is tiny, but we're moving to a bigger place. Most people, if you're watching this, you know what it's like to move, but you also know that whenever you move to a different place, potentially that means new adventures, new challenges for yourself, new adjustments, all that kind of stuff. And we were moving specifically from downtown Raleigh to the suburbs of Raleigh. Hopefully I can get like a full on desk set up better than this disorganized mess that I have going on right here. We were originally gonna do like a conference table and then it kind of just fell apart and then... Yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting all that set up. We have a couple extra rooms. We'll actually be in a house instead of an apartment, so I'm looking forward to it and hopefully I can document this whole process of moving and stuff. But I don't wanna make things longer than they have to be, so I might not. Cause I know that it will take longer if I you know, set up the camera, then go move the box, then move the camera again, you know, all that kind of stuff. So for the past two years, you know, I've, I've gotten used to the city life. I've gotten used to just walking down the street to whatever store. I've gotten used to running around downtown whenever I was training for my marathon, all that kind of stuff. And now that's a little bit different. One of the biggest things I'm excited for is that we have two dogs, if you don't know already. And I am excited that they will have room to run. We won't have to take them on walks. I mean, we will, but we won't have to do it every single day. It'll make our lives a little bit easier is what I'm trying to say as far as taking care of them. We'll have a yard, they can just run around. Here's Charlie. Hey, buddy. Hey. And here's Raina. Now we have a lot more space. I have this big room that I'm currently in that I can now call my studio in the future, hopefully. At least that's the plan. Another big difference was when we were in our apartment, we were on the third floor and um, you know, it's, it's cool at first, but then you realize and you, you forget that your building doesn't have elevators. So you're going up three flights of stairs every time. You have two dogs that you need to take out. Your apartment complex does not have a dog park, so you're having to walk your dog all the time. Every time they need to go outside, you need to walk them out. So going up and down the stairs, e even with moving, was kind of like, it, it got old really quickly. There's something about moving though that just kind of, it reminds me of like, not necessarily getting out of your comfort zone, but it's almost like that because you're doing something that's not in the norm. You know when you have those moments where you go somewhere and it's the first night you're sleeping there and it's you wake up in the middle of the night and you might forget where you are for like a couple seconds. It's just that little small break in your routine that just might shock you for a little bit. Um, and I, I think in those moments is when you have to just like make those adjustments and just keep on pushing through, keep on doing what you're doing. Obviously, I've had to still work, Abigail's still had to work and we're still unpacking. And then we have to also live our normal life, you know, getting groceries, all that kind of stuff. It's in those moments where I'm like, when things happen, when the unexpected happens, even though we expected to move, you just have to keep on rolling through. We found out that we're moving in a day earlier. So now the dogs get to come see the place before tomorrow. <laughs> Our original game plan today was to just pack stuff up and get ready for tomorrow, but because now we know that we can technically move in today, we are gonna take both of our cars over to the place with boxes in it that we already packed, and then we're gonna come back, and then I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Oh, shoot. So I didn't intend for this video to be very long or anything like that, but I just wanted to give you an update. Um, I know before my last two videos, my the video before that was probably a month and a half ago, I think. 
Either way, it was a big gap for what I'm used to as far as consistency, consistently uploading. And so I wanted to give you an update. We were moving, we were getting ready to move, all that kind of stuff. I was trying to hustle hard to get ready for all the um, expenses that come with moving and stuff like that. And so I was focusing more on my work specifically just so that we could have the, the finances and all that kind of stuff and just be financial ready for moving as a whole. And just to give you an idea, I'm about to show you at least the room that I'm in that I'm gonna make our studio slash music room, whatever. But just to give you an idea, our apartment as a whole was 900 square feet um, and we were both working from home and just it got and having two dogs, one of them being a husky and it's, yeah. It got really small, you felt cramped in a lot of places and I just felt like I couldn't really do things. I'm gonna be honest, I used the excuse of not having enough space, not having the right gear, all that kind of stuff. But being in this space, it's like, this entire room is like half of our apartment, if not more than half. And so this is the initial plan of what I plan on doing. So here's the current condition of this room. Um, there's not really anything going on. This is obviously where I was just shooting and I did the intro part. Over here, we're gonna have some kind of music stuff. I don't know exactly what, how we're gonna have it set up, but I'm sure we're gonna hang up these guitars on the walls. I can't play a single instrument over here. I'm trying to learn how to play the bass though, but that's a work in progress. Boxes that we still gotta unpack, or I still gotta unpack rather. So here's our closet, right? And I can't decide if I wanna put like a kind of shelving organizer or whatever over here to put all like lenses and stuff, or if I want that to be exposed on the outside, like near my desk maybe. This isn't gonna be my current desk, but I'm, I actually ordered a fully desk that will be here hopefully this week, so maybe in a couple days. Um, you'll see a video for that soon, I'm sure. So if you saw my last video, you would have seen that I added some orange into the intro now. I'm adding orange and trying to get that to go with the black and white. And so I think that's gonna be the three colors that I choose. Thanks to Abigail for that one. Um, I just didn't want it to be black and white the entire time. And I think orange is just a good color. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out a way to make the backdrop maybe maybe orange or black, and then I wanna put some kind of shelving stuff back there. I don't know if it's gonna be the same shelf I explained earlier with like camera equipment or if it's just gonna be something to go with the room as a whole. Might put pictures back there, I don't know yet, but at, to some degree, it's gonna be black, white, and orange. I do know that Charlie and I are excited to show you the progress of this studio or place. I don't, we don't really have a name for it yet. Bonus room is what we're calling it now. All right, bye Charlie, whatever. I'll, I don't want to talk to you anyway. But anyway, I'm excited to show you the progress of this room as I continue to get things. It's a process for sure. I mean, I definitely don't have all the money in the world to just drop and just grab everything and buy everything. So as I get things, you'll see it updated throughout videos, whether I make a video specifically for an item or you'll just see it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I know this is a weird angle, so I'm just going to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up bell and I will see you in the next video. Bye.